So Lightroom, as you know, has built in HDR. But have you noticed that when you use it, when you're done, the HDR image looks regular? It looks pretty much exactly like the normal. Like you look at it and you go, that just looks like nothing. It, I, I, the way I describe it is this. When you put the three images together in Lightroom and it creates what's called an HDR, it looks exactly the same as the normal exposure, but a half stop brighter. Well, how does that help? The benefits actually are, are secret. <laughs> it's not secret. You just wouldn't know. Let's, let's say it again. The benefits are hidden, and I'm going to show you what they are. There actually is a huge benefit to doing the, this, and I'll show you what it is. Then I'm going to show you why the HDR, you'll see in just a second. You're going to go, oh, I get it. Here, let's go to Lightroom. Let's go to look at, here are the three examples. So this is actually the normal exposure. That is the straight up normal exposure, nothing done to it. Now let's go to the next image. That's the HDR, right? And you can actually see the names of them. Look, that's HDR. That is the, I made that in Lightroom. And it actually looks almost identical. Usually it's like a half a stop brighter. It looks almost identical. But here's the thing that's hidden. It's not identical. Because what's the advantage? And I sat there and asked the Photoshop, pro, I mean, Lightroom product manager, I'm like, hey, I do an HDR. It looks the same. They go, well, you haven't toned it yet, you haven't done anything, and it does look better when you tone it, absolutely. Now, there's a checkbox in Lightroom's HDR window. In the Merge to HDR window, there's a little checkbox called Auto Tone. That's the same as going over to the Develop module here and clicking the Auto button. It does a little toning for you. Let's click it, actually. There we go. That looks better. So when you first see your HDR, it does, it does look about a half stop <laughs> brighter. In this case, it would tell you it is a, it does three quarters of a stop brighter. That's the default, but you know, anyway, but then it takes off some highlights and stuff. So it looks about a half stop brighter to me than the original. So that would be the original and then we'll hit auto and that would be more likely what you see. But there's a big difference and this is what I want to show you. The hidden benefit is in the shadows. When you do this higher bit depth HDR in Lightroom, you can open the shadows a ton without seeing noise or just seeing a very little bit of noise. Let's go to the original image. I'm gonna prove it to you. Let's go to the original image. Let's hit auto and let's crank up the shadows and the exposure a lot. And what are you gonna see when I go way in? Let's go way in, what are you gonna see? Look at that, a ton of noise. It's like snowing in the shadows of your image, right? And that's where noise lies in the shadows. Now let's go to the exact same image, but made to an HDR. So three images combined in Lightroom, not using Nick. This is just Lightroom straight up. I'm gonna show you the Nick part next, but just done in Lightroom. Let's go to the same image and let's hit previous. Same exact thing. Where's the noise? This is the hidden benefit. Look as I go back and forth. Raining noise, no noise. Raining noise, no noise. So that's what it does. When you combine the HDR, it limits. That allows you in post-processing to push the shadows and open them further. So I can do quite a lot to an HDR image uh, in Lightroom, and I do the whole thing in Lightroom.